I1 Profiler Display Quality Assurance, or QA, can determine how well your display is reproducing colors, which is especially helpful if you're judging color based on what you see on screen. Before you begin, be sure to use I1 Profiler to calibrate and profile your monitor. Watch the Display Profiling module found with the training videos to learn how. From the I1 Profiler homepage, select the Advanced Radio button. Then, under Display, select Display QA. Here's the profile your monitor is using. This reference, shown on the right, includes a set of colors based on the Munsell Color Checker target. At the bottom of the screen, click the Measurement button. If it doesn't say Device Ready, place it on its white tile and press Calibrate. When it's finished, press Start Measurement. Place your i1 Pro in its holder and hang it over the center of the display. Click Next. As each of the reference colors flash, your device will measure them. i1 Profiler will use that information to calculate the difference between what your monitor displays and the actual values of the color checker target. This graphic shows how well your display performed. The colors in the upper left represent the target values and the ones in the lower right show what was measured. Click the QA Report button to look at the actual numbers. As you can see, our display passed. This preview shows the best and worst matches. Here are the average Delta E results. The average Delta E of all of the measured patches is 2.41. Since the tolerance is 3, we are within tolerance. The lowest 90% of our patches, 22 of them, are at 2.24 Delta E. There are best matches. There are two patches that represent the 10% with the highest delta E, or the poorest matches. They're outlined in yellow and red. The average delta E of these patches, 4.3, can be found here next to highest 10%. Under maximum results, the max delta E describes the worst patch of all, this red one right here. It's almost 5 delta E. This standard deviation section shows how far your measurements are deviated from the expected values. You can also save a report for future reference. It will show you how the average delta E of all the patches and the maximum delta E measurements compare to the tolerance, and whether these values passed or failed. Down below, you'll see all of the measured values, which can help you understand where the display is strong or weak in its ability to preview certain colors. So, why use Display QA? If you have more than one display attached to your system, this information can help you choose the best one for your most critical color work. If you have two displays in your workflow, it can ensure similar results on both. If your display doesn't pass, it may not be giving you a good preview of your files, and probably shouldn't be trusted for color evaluation and editing. You may want to consider replacing it if you plan to frequently use it to do color work.